Hi, everybody. I would like to just start this off with saying I don't like plants. Yeah. Well, not so much plants themselves, but more lines of scanning plants. I work in retail, so we have the seasonal thing in. So we have lots and lots of plants. Um, my brain works really well in the mornings, early mornings, very early mornings. Not so much as the day goes on, though. And so when you're given a forest in a cart, and they wonder why you are taking so long to scan it, and they start complaining about you scanning it, your brain starts to melt. Because it's like, I'm trying! I'm trying! You gave me a forest! I'm, I'm trying! It's like hunting for the gorillas in Tarzan. It's hard. Like, really, really hard. <sighs> Love meditation. Meditation saved me. Yay! So, on to the next thing. Bye. And so, we're going to bring this up with my thing on disgruntled customers and what you should do. Everybody will get a disgruntled told customer everybody if you work in retail it will happen very first thing to do the very first thing to do is know this nine times out of ten it's not your fault nine times out of ten they are having the worst day possible and you are just the person they decide to throw their anger at just let it roll off your back just breathe in, breathe out. As long as you know you're doing the best you can and trying to help them, even if they do get very angry, you know you're in the good. Um, second thing, if at all possible, get somebody else that's higher management than you to help them. Because you, being bottom of the barrel, can only do so much. Whereas people above you can. <clears throat> Try to solve their issues, but if they're getting more aggressive and they don't look like they're going to calm down, call a higher-up. Higher-ups usually are able to deal with the situations and defuse them a lot easier in most cases. Sometimes it causes more issues, but then you'll have backup, so keep that in mind. Third, always keep a cool head. Just because they're losing it doesn't mean you get to. You have to come at them respectfully, happy, and as if you're trying to help them. Usually I am. I, people just have a really bad day and I'm a sponge. I can feel their bad day and it kind of affects me. But I always come up with a smile and I always try to make sure people leave with smiles too because I believe everybody deserves the best. Everybody. All members, employees, everything. So, again, real quick, three things. First, remember it's not your fault. Second, if you cannot solve their problem, get somebody who can. And third... Remember that when you are dealing with them, no matter how irate they get, you keep your cool because you are awesome. You've got this. You've got this down pat. You will be fine. Okay? That's how you deal with disgruntled customers. Next off, I have found my new favorite workout. <laughs> there is this rope, this rope thing in the workout gym I am going to. And I was looking through the exercises you could do with it, and I found this one that was called baseball. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And you basically put it down low so that way the rope's about yay high. About yay high, actually. And you have to basically grab the rope and pull through as if you're swinging a baseball bat. And I was in baseball when I was a kid. I wasn't really good at it. Then I became an ump. I was really good at that. Um, but so the baseball throw is like a baseball hit is actually really neat. And when I was doing it, it was a really good exercise. It really does work out your entire body and it felt so good. Um, must admit, I'm going to probably be doing more of that. And next thing. So Animathon has these things called panels. Every convention does. And this year, I'm kind of missing out on it because the thing, the deadline's tomorrow at night, 11.29 p.m., I don't really have an idea for a panel. Even if I did submit one, I don't really have the time to put into it to make it work really well. But I might. I might. I might, actually. But if I were to do a panel, hypothetically speaking, what would you guys like to see? Like, if you went to a convention for, like, anime or comics, what is a panel that you've always wanted to see happen, but you've never seen done? You've, like, never seen it. Something that's off to the side, kind of a head-scratcher, like, 
you wanted to see it, but you now just never have? Comment down below. I want to know. Um, finally, I'm looking for an online multiplayer game. I've played Terra. I've played Warframe. I've played so many others. So, so, so many others. Um, I am trying to find one that's kind of like D&D. &D. I know I know about the D&D &D Neverwinter thing. Put that off to the side for now. I want a game that is like World of Warcraft, but free, but also fun. Innovative story, good multiplayer aspects, fun. Again, I'm going to say this, fun. It's hard to figure that out sometimes, and it's really hard to make it work, but that's something I'm looking for. If you guys know of any multiplayer games online, please let me know. I have seen and played a ton, so if I say I've tried it already, don't be offended. I have tried a lot. Trying to find that niche that, yes, I love this, that I would be that guy that ends up just staying on his computer, playing the game all day long, and I have not found it yet. At all. Yeah. So that wraps up my day. It was a pretty okay day. Watched uh, Camp Camps uh, Season 1 again. It was a really interesting show, I must say. If you guys have a chance, this is not a kid-friendly kid show, but it's on YouTube. He's just putting Camp Camp. It's done by the guys who do Ruby, Rooster Teeth. <clears throat> really funny, really interesting, and there is definitely a lot of subplots going on. They come out with a season. What I've seen so far is every summer. And it only runs for the summer, and then they stop, and they don't make another season till the next summer. And it's really hilarious. Um, but, you know, I just finished off my day by watching that. Did a workout today, as you all know. Dealt with some disgruntled customers. Oh, right. I also took care of an entire department in, that, in my personal opinion, needs at least two people in. It was ridiculous. I got done half the department. Easily. Within the time frame. But the other half just did not get done to the degree I would have liked it to. I tried. I really, really did. I went as fast as I could while being safe. There was just no way of getting it done. I'm going to have to talk to management about possibly and any ideas they might have on how to improve the productivity of this department and to make it work better. That's my goal. Anywho, I'm going to leave it off for there today. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I should make a vlog about next, please let me know. Until then, I hope you all enjoy. And remember this. This is the most important thing to remember in each of my vlogs. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, you've got this. I know you've probably heard a million other people say this, but trust me on this. You've got this. Always give yourself time. One more day. One more moment. One more hour, one more minute. Just breathe. I know it sounds stupid. I was forced, I had to force myself to do it myself. Breathe and think to yourself, I will give myself another day. Another try, another time. And you keep saying that until things look better. Because I know, I know for a fact, you guys got this. I know you do. You guys got this and you will be doing something amazing. No matter what it is you guys do. No matter what passion drives you. No matter what you end up doing in life. You will be awesome. I want you all to know that and remember that. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.